Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. Yes, finally, it's Friday and it's a beautiful day. Now I'm here in um, Onero at the beach, Oneroa Beach. I get so inspired every time the sun comes out in the morning and I went for a short run, just a quick run. And then that's it for the day. And officially, I'm self-employed, finally. I quit my job in a child care center and it was not easy because as you know, they really, they're so desperate to have um, teachers here, but I'm over it. <laughs> so I finally said goodbye to my career and now I'm self-employed. So what do I do? Well, we just started um, our window cleaning business because that's Phil's um, job. He used to work full time for six years in Auckland, managing um, window cleaning business. And now he wants to do it by himself. And I know he's um, very confident and capable of doing it so i'm doing all the admin invoicing and marketing the business so i'm the one looking for work for him i advertise him every week on facebook community in waiheke and also i talk to some locals and i volunteer i i'm now getting really active in the community in Waiheke. Yeah, it's so nice and I feel really happy now that I'm no longer need to work in the child care or anywhere. For someone else, I want to be self-employed and do something that makes me feel good. So this is it and I'm I have lots of ideas about marketing and yeah it's getting it's getting busy for this week it's the first week where Phil got a um, job for five days and next week he also has booking so he's got like three three jobs already for next week so that's what I do now I just keep um keep thinking about good ideas to advertise so yeah i just make um story ad uh, like i said we're a couple hi community group we're a couple and we want to start our own business so it's the best idea when you make an advert to write your own story because people wants to know your story and to connect and rather than just posting if you want your windows clean or anything so it's more effective if you introduce yourself to the community and be confident that you offer a really good job and it's affordable to everyone and it's yeah I'm so surprised that it works here in Waiheke but we still live in a van some but Phil doesn't say it to most of his clients because they might they might get funny or they might think something else because yeah as I said I'm um, living in a van here it's they think I don't know how people think but yeah for me I'm like really really proud of saying it but sometimes I have to be careful I just said I live in this area something like that rather than yeah but most of the time I said I live in a van <laughs> living in a van really helps us to do what we really want because we don't have any pressure of paying rent and all the other expenses all the bills yeah that's how we can afford to live like this and 
to slowly start our business. Cleaning business in New Zealand is the best for the middle class or lower class to start because there's no no need for a capital you just need a small tools so Phil just have like one two poles long long and short poles and um, squeegee and brush and that's it and a bucket and clothes that's it so it's not that um, hard to start if you have the skill and you have the confidence yeah if you're if you want to start a business you need to have that confidence and um, the strong belief that it will work and you have to keep searching and learning every day and meet people and yeah and travel and when you travel it's not about it's not only fun you're also learning lots of different things ideas yeah and yeah that's that's the story <laughs> I'm looking forward to keep running this business to, uh, after this I'm gonna go to the library and do some office work because Phil is now working at wild estate is a big winery that that's our big one big regular client that we got last week it's really it's really good and yeah i'm gonna i just thought of making a template print out template for reviews or testimonial so every time phil finish his job he will hand um, paper or just a testimonial paper for the clients to say something, any suggestion to, to improve the business. Because some of the big companies, they, they're looking for lots of requirements like testimonial and insurance, lots of different things. So we're not ready for that. We're still um working on it yeah that's it for the business let's talk about life life is awesome so i chose to be happy every day but sometimes it's not that great but i really try to be positive in life and because it's our choice anyway it's our choice to be happy it's our choice not to think negative things and just ignore ignore the news I don't watch news at all for a long time very rare I don't ha uh, yeah, we don't have TV and it's so good so what I learned just living in a van I just realized I don't need many things to make me happy what makes me happy is just to be in nature in a quiet place where I can relax and be calm and calm my my mind of overthinking, worrying and yeah, I'm not into it this time. I just um, do some meditation. It's like calming your brain. When your brain is calm and not overthinking, you you know you will know what you really want in life. And I know that I just want a simple, simple living where I grow my own vegetables and raise um, chickens like that in a country. Yeah, that's my future goal to have a farm. And if I can afford to have a big, big, big farm everyone can can go there for free so i'm gonna make um eco village for everyone to relax and feel free to be themselves and not bothered with any worries in life oh it's such a beautiful day 
after this I after the library I'll go to the Kai Country's kitchen I'll tell you next time what it is it's a really good volunteer work where I can help the locals to cook food from all the expired foods so they don't want waste to put that into waste so all the food from supermarkets that's outdated it will go to that resource center and we cook it every Friday and we share it to everyone everyone can come and enjoy the meal have a great Friday everyone <laughs>